morning, good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? Hope you, by the time you've watched this, hope you have had an awesome, awesome weekend. Well, we are in the GTI. We are off to Cars and Coffee. No, I did not bring the Jetta because you know what? Just in case anything happens, I don't want to get stranded. I don't know. I just had a feeling. I don't know if anything is going to work properly. The car may not start later on, whatever the case may be. And plus, it's hot outside and I want AC, um, at least today. So we're going to meet Jersey and L at uh, Cars and Coffee, hang out for a little bit, see some cars. Uh, and then I have to come home, load the car up with the Cadets wheels, and take those out to Champions Gate to meet, um, oh, to meet this guy who wants to trade for some, it looks like TSW mesh wheels. I'm not 100% sure. I saw some pictures. They look dope. And they're 18. So what I'm going to do is... Fair trade, fair eating trade. I'll put probably more than likely probably put those wheels on the Mark V. If not, I'll put those on my car for a little while until I um, get um, probably lower tires. I think I'm just gonna do the lower tires and then swap the tires around. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm going to bring you guys along, obviously, so it's going to be a little bit of car content, and then, oh, also, I have to fix her window switch, her driver window switch on her car isn't working, I have the switch, I've had it for like a week or two, so I want to swap that in and out, that way she's able to hit drive throughs and stuff like that, alright, so, I'll see you guys when we get to cars and coffee, we got Bumblebee, oh, little buggy, Got here at 9.15 pretty much and already full. So let's go, we'll walk around and see what's going on and uh, yeah, see what we see. Supers, the four and the five. I'm partial. Actually, I'm not. It's just to me, it's a better car. Well, it looks nice though. This black though with the gold. Sick. This one must be laying down some decent power. Just running around on slicks. Fake vent. Fake vent. Come on, man. Fake vents? Never tell the difference between Aston Martin models, especially now. I'm going to say this is a DBS. But I could be wrong. Could be a band. No, DBS. I'm gonna go with DBS because I have no idea. Straight up, James Bond style. The old DBS.
Transformers. This is the joint though. If I had money right now to buy any car kind of right now in this range, it'd be this. The color on this is just absolutely, ooh. They come like that, right? Yeah, that's yeah, the factory color. Ford GT. Four, five, eight, a Pista. Four five eight here. And you got all the hurricanes. Ventador SV. You don't see these all the time. Seven twenty spider. What? GT3, dope, F8 green, Challenger, that RS though, the RS though. Walked around as much as I possibly could. It says it's only 83 degrees outside, but just there's no shade and the sun is beating down and you just get worn out like the back is freaking wet from sweating. Saw some cool cars. Definitely, definitely nice to see a P1. You don't see those ever. So saw a P1, saw a Senna in real life for the first time. Um, they look, these cars look way better in person. Like sometimes the camera and footage doesn't just doesn't put out the lines and everything and uh, like they do in real, like it is in real life so that was dope seeing those cars a few Ferraris and Porsches and stuff like that so happy got some content for you guys go home now fix the mark 5 ground is leveled concrete is laid look at the driveway look at the house it is coming together boys All right just left the house again loaded up the cadets wheels getting ready to trade them out well at least i hope so so heading there now and I'll see you guys when we get there and let's make this trade all right so here at champions gate waiting for i think his name is jose to come i just want to show you guys i cleaned the wheels cars dirty so ignore that just want to give you guys a look at the wheels. I don't mind the little scratches that they have here and there, but overall, the wheels look amazing. I want to see them rolling. I got to clean the brake calipers. I need some touch ups in little spots here and there, but overall, I really like the way they fit, man. I like the little bit of meatier tire as well. Like it feels the wheel well on the 19s. I really like the way the back, I mean, you can't get any more flush than that. That's it. Woo! Now, I kind of wish that they made maybe like a 205. That way I could have a little bit of stretch and really like dump the car down. But this just looks really, really, really good. I just really like the way it looks. And the gray, I mean, it's not that far off from the car. It is off, but it's not that far off. Oh, look at it. Look at this. I'm making a real sacrifice coming out here to do this. Windshield is tore up. This whole car needs to be washed and cleaned. But man, it looks amazing. Woo. Beast. Decked out uh, Forerunner with like a side by side on the back. And I think we got a couple of other off-roading. There's an FJ there. And there's another. There was another Forerunner on the other side of there. But that thing looks super dope. Ooh, yeah. Look at that.
How cool is that? Don't brag, but that thing. Look at that. That's super dope. Hmm. This guy, right, come on, focus, right here, has been filling gas and cleaning all his windows for 20 minutes. Like, nobody else needs to use the gas pump. Oh, here we go. Action shots. That thing is super. That looked like the, the most fun thing ever. I want one. But anyway, this guy has been cleaning his truck forever. Like, wash it, dude. All right, doing car stuff in this Florida heat is actually ridiculous. Two minutes outside swapping tires, like not even jacking cars up, man, and I'm sweating. But either way, we made it happen. Uh, tires look good on those wheels for now. I'll probably mix match or whatever take the two off the rear off of um, the Mark V, put them on these. These just need to get washed up. There's a little bit of rash, not too much, but they still look good. I think they're definitely better than the OEM wheels, but um, so we'll see. We'll clean them up. They're real dirty. We'll clean them up and see how they look. Probably put them on a Mark V or on this car for a while until we get lower tires for the GTI, I think, just for a rolling mass. They feel a little bit heavy, the um, the wheels I put on because of the tires, but not overall, not bad, not bad. So we'll see, we'll clean them up. If the wifey likes them, we'll swap them. If not, no big deal, we'll sell them. Or just keep them for a spare set of wheels because I'd like to have a second, a second set of wheels for each car just in case. And she has her stocks that need tires. I have socks for the Mark III and this car. The stock wheels on the GTI or from the GTI are on her car. So having another set of wheels is helpful. So yeah, that's it. So let's head home. Uh, let me fix her car, the window switch, and then we'll off to do, I don't know, family things, I guess. She wanted to go to the mall. I'll show you guys what the wheels look like. There. Let that mirror polish look. These would be dope, powder coated black as well. There they go. All right, let's get home. Big shout out to John. John Cummings came coming in clutch, real clutch with the um, <laughs> rear spring purges that I needed. He must. He hit me up yesterday. He left a comment on the um, on the post saying he's got them. He hit me up today. He's like, "Hey man, you need them?" I was like, "Yes, I do." Boom. Thanks, John. He's gonna get those shipped up. You're a real one. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still good people in the community. So just wanted to put that in there. You know, I told him I was going to shout him on the vlog. So there it is. <laughs> Everybody have a good day. Boom. Chris hooked it up. I got the key. He also checked my lugs and I forgot to tighten a couple of them. So shout out to Chris for making sure I don't kill myself. Um, Bro, he's got big things in the works. Hopefully it comes through for him because that would be a big, major, major move. But let me tell you guys something about customer service and 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 setting things up i will never go to another tire shop plain and simple i mean the man told me to come through he's super slammed super busy he double checked all my lug bolts he gave me the key that i need for the wheels and he's just like yo hold that just keep it i got extras no problem that right there goes a very long way it was just like i was just telling you guys sometimes you don't need to make money off people it's just the little things you do go a very, very long way, and people are always gonna come back to you. Like, now, I mean, I've always brought my wheels to him, but, you know, just, if I need anything, I'm going to him. And you guys should too, if you're in the area, because they kill it, their quality work, they always hook you up whenever the, you know, whenever they need, and they've been working these crazy hours. It's just awesome to see, like, their business just booming and booming and booming, and he's a good dude. They don't try to, like, kill people on prices either, so. If you're in the area, Action Tire, they are the guys, Stretch Kings, you know what it is. Go check them out, get your wheels mounted, balance, everything, alignments, everything. They're just, right now, they're just killing it. The best shop in Florida. Perfect.